these physiques are legendary. However, the source of these physiques can actually differ quite a lot. And oftentimes, beginners have two options to choose from pull ups or deadlifts, dips or bench press. Simply body weight versus free weight exercises. Which is superior? Which is better? And overall, which one should you choose? You got skinny calisthenics athletes saying that dips and pull ups are more functional, or you have chunky bodybuilders saying that bench press and deadlifts are for building muscle. Well, I'm joking, but the point is, not many truly know the benefits and the advantages of each individual exercise. So, in this video, we're going to be answering which form of exercise should you choose? Free weight or body weight? Now, in order to determine which one is more superior, I'll be using three factors to determine their excellence and their effectiveness. Number one is how good are they in building muscle and strength, aka hypertrophy and strength training. Number two is how functional are they as everyday movements and activities. And number three is what are the specific benefits for each individual exercise. I'll be using these three factors because most of my audience wants to get bigger and stronger. So. In order to determine if these exercises are best for you, these factors are going to be the best for you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, firstly is how good are these exercises in building muscle and strength? Now, muscle and strength are very important to athletes, lifters, and basically anyone trying to live a good life. Now, in general, the way to build muscle and strength is through intensity, progressive overload, and of course, volume. You want an exercise that can target specific muscle groups and can be taken to failure. And of course, you want an exercise that can be easily progressively overload whenever if this is with reps, difficulty, and weight. Firstly, we will go to the free weight movements. Obviously, free weight movements are excellent in building muscle and strength. It's quite obvious. Free weight movements can hit multiple muscle groups at once very effectively. The exercises can be taken to failure and it's very easy to progressively overload. You can simply just add more plates, take off more plates, and this makes it easy for beginners to get into weightlifting as they can just start out with an extremely lightweight if necessary and just build their way up to heavier and heavier weights. Simply with weightlifting, there is no limit to how much you can possibly load. Now with calisthenic movements, it's a little bit different. Calisthenic movements like weightlifting, these movements will hit mu multiple muscle groups at once and can also be taken to failure. However, they use bodyweight movements rather than external weight. Unless you're talking about weighted calisthenics, it's a bit harder to progressively overload and it's a bit harder for beginners to start out as you need to start off with vi easier variations and once you get good at those variations, you go to the next variation. However, the amount of weight you are lifting can quite differ. For example, if you're doing assisted dips, you might be lifting 10% of your body weight. However, if you go to a different variation, you might be all of a sudden lifting 50% of your body weight. It's a lot different like that. But yet again, although it's harder for beginners and it's harder to progressively overload, you can still progressively overload in calisthenics by either switching up the variations, adding more reps, or simply just adding weight. Yes, adding weight, aka weighted calisthenics, is one of the best ways to progress in calisthenics overall. And your body will get used to lifting external weight besides your own body weight as well. Functionality. Now, thanks to Mario Rios, every exercise now has to be functional. However, this leaves one question. Are free weight movements functional? And are body weight exercises more functional than free weight movements? It depends on what your goals are. But overall, a functional movement is one that requires stability, engages multiple muscle groups at once, and also can be applied to everyday movements and activities. Now, firstly, weightlifting and free weight movements specifically are very effective functionally. Movements like the bench press, squat, and deadlift require stability as you're lifting heavy weights on a barbell and using your own core to brace. For example, the bench press is a movement that uses multiple muscle groups at once. The shoulders, triceps, and of course, the chest are all used simultaneously to lift the barbell. And this is very useful as a pushing movement as pushing movements are commonly used in everyday movements and activities. The same can be applied to the deadlift and other free weight movements that you possibly would use. However, 
with free weight movements, you can take the stability factor out by switching to machines, a Smith machine, or even using a lifting belt. No! All no! these factors can actually reduce functionality. But overall, alone, free weights are a great choice if you want to choose functional fitness. Now, with body weight movements, there is really no cheating, unlike with free weights. With free weights, you can add wrist straps, you can add lifting belts, you can use a Smith machine. With body weight movements, all you're using is your body weight. Body weight movements also have the added benefit of getting used to your body weight. Using your body weight as resistance is actually very functional in movements like climbing or even movements like swimming. Getting used to your own body weight as resistance will allow you to get used to your own body weight as resistance will amplify other advanced body weight movements such as even front levers and a planche. As these body weight movements require stability and hit multiple muscle groups at once, calisthenics overall is very functional. And now, finally, we'll get to the specific benefits of each individual exercise. Now with free weights, the main benefit is the unlimited amount of load you could possibly load up. For example, the bench press, you can load up as little as 45 pounds or as much as 500 pounds. It can differ depending on your level, but overall, you can lift and load as much weight as you can if possible. This will allow you to boost your absolute strength, which is strength not correlated with body weight extremely easily as you're able to load up extreme amounts of weight very easily. This makes progressive overload very easy and in terms makes building strength and muscle much more easily, much more easier as for say, you can see how much you're progressing. With calisthenics, the main benefit is using your own body weight as resistance. Like I said before, using your own body weight is very functional in everyday movements and activities. And this can actually boost your relative strength, which is your strength compared to your body weight. You might be very light. However, despite being very light, you're able to lift your body weight with extra resistance added very easily. This can actually potentially prepare you for more advanced body weight movements, such as one arm pull-ups, front levers, and even planche push-ups. So in conclusion, what's the verdict? Which form of exercise is superior? Is calisthenics superior to weightlifting or are free weight exercises just better overall to body weight movements? Both are great at building muscle and strength. Both target multiple muscle groups and require stability. And best of all, both have their own unique benefits and strengths to best amplify what your goals are and what your strengths are. Overall, I have to say this, but there is no clear winner. Both are amazing forms of exercise that should be used according to your own goals and program and based on who you are as a person. I'd say in conclusion, pick whatever style of training best suits your environment, your surroundings, your body, and obviously your goals. For example, I would choose weightlifting and free weights if you are a taller individual, a more heavier individual who wants to get into powerlifting or bodybuilding. Free weights are the best movements for those types of people. However, if you're more on the shorter side like me, you weigh a little bit less and you don't really care about say powerlifting and want to be an elite calisthenics athlete, choose calisthenic movements. Both movements are great and both movements are great for your own individual goals and you as a person. So pick whatever you choose you would like to do. And best of all, you can incorporate both styles of training into your training plan to get the best of both worlds. So overall, both ex forms of exercise are great and amazing. And you should choose which exercise or even combine them depending on who you are as a person and what your goals are. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers as soon as possible. And I'll see you in a few weeks.